This is the solution to quiz 13. Okay. So the objective function is 5x squared y plus 10. And the constraint function the constraint function is g of x and y is x plus y minus 48. Uh, and the constraint course is that the constraint function has to be equivalent to zero. Okay. So the Lagrange system Lagrange system is three equations. So we need the x partial of the objective to be lambda times the x partial of the constraint. We need the y partial of the objective to be same lambda times the y partial of the constraint. And furthermore, we need the um, constraint to be true, so we need x plus y is 48. Okay, so then writing all of that down, the x partial of the objective is 10xy, uh, just 10xy, because the derivative of 10 is uh, 0, so 10xy is lambda multiplied by the x partial of the constraint is 1. Uh, the y partial of the constraint of the objective is 5x squared is lambda multiplied by 1 again and then x plus y is 48. So then I'll refer to the equations as 1 2 and 3. So from equation 1, from equation 1, we get uh, that 10xy is lambda. And now we can put that into equation 2 to eliminate lambda. So putting this into equation 2 gives us that 5x squared is 10xy. So we can move the 10xy to the other side. So 5x squared minus 10xy is 0. We can factor out 5x so that 5x multiplied by x minus 2y is 0. So there's two possibilities. Uh, one possibility is that x is 0, or the other possibility is that x is 2, 1. Okay. <clears throat> so now the possibilities have split, so the, so the discussion needs to split. So in the case 
that x is 0, we can put that into equation 3. And that tells us uh, that 0 plus y is 48, so that uh, one of the critical points is 0, 048. In the case that x is 2y, we can put that into equation 3. Putting x is 2y into equation 3 gives 2y plus y is 48, so that 3y is 48, so that y is 16. And therefore, the point 3, uh, no. So now we need to plug this. into here to determine x. Uh, that tells us that x is 2 times 16, which is 32. So as a result, the point 32, 16 is a critical point. Now, we want to find the maximum. So the question is, is which, which critical point is the maximum? We'll plug in. So the objective evaluated at 0, 048, so plugging that into f, uh, gives us 10. And then the objective evaluated at uh, 32, 16, plugging that into the calculator, five, 5 times 32 squared times 16 plus 10 is 81,930. <coughs> so the conclusion is that the max uh, a maximum value of 81 thousand nine hundred thirty occurs at input thirty two sixteen. Okay, so that's the answer to question one. Question two. Okay. So the area as a function of x and y is xy. That's the answer to part A. Part B, the perimeter as a function of x and y is 2x plus 2y. C, OK. We want to minimize P subject to A. Okay, so the constraint, uh, no, the objective function is P of X and Y equal to 2X plus 2Y. 
the constraint I'll call C of X and Y is XY minus 144 so that the constraint is equal to zero. when we have this. Okay, the Lagrange system. So the x, x partial of the objective is 2. So 2 is equal to lambda multiplied by the x partial of the constraint, which is y. So 2 is lambda y. Uh, the x partial of the object, uh, y partial of the objective is also 2. So 2 is equal to uh, lambda x. And then the constraint is that xy is 144. OK, so now let's solve this. We refer to this mm, as equations 1, 2, and 3. So from 1 and 2, together, we can already see uh, that lambda y is equal to lambda x. Uh, the reason is that, um, <coughs> is that there are both equal to 2. So this is equal to 2 and also that is equal to 2. Okay. But we can also see something else and lambda has to be not 0. Because if lambda is 0 uh, would make this false. So would make this, both of them, that would be false, and that would be false. Okay, so continuing that thought up here, we have the equation lambda y is lambda x. Because lambda is not 0, we can divide by, lambda, divide by lambda to obtain that y is x. Now we can put that equation into equation 3. So since, since y is x, I could say that that means that x squared is 144, so that x is 12. So only 12 only 12 and not negative 12 because this is a rectangle. Presumably modeling a physical object. Okay, so as a result, the conclusion <coughs> is that the maximum 
occurs at uh, x, y is 12, 12. So x, y is, uh, no, the, the minimum, <laughs> the minimum perimeter. Minimum perimeter occurs at x, y <coughs> is 12, 12. <coughs> and the minimum value is perimeter evaluated at 12, 12. Well, that'd be 24 plus 24 is 48. <coughs> and then part C, the sketch, is that, yes, obviously, this is a square. So the area is 144, and the dimensions are 12 and 12. And then, no question on the third page.